I voted in the parliamentary election of 1893 when women first had that privilege, that right. They felt very wild about it, I can tell you. They were trying to tell them. They were having much about prohibition, I know that. They were rather excited uh, at the idea of, uh, that we had the franchise and were able to vote. move a motion without notice to recognise the 125th anniversary of women's suffrage in New Zealand. Is there any objection to that course being followed? There is none. The right honourable Speaker, Prime Speaker, I move that this House mark the 125th anniversary of New Zealand women becoming the first in the world to win the right to vote and celebrate the contribution of women to New Zealand's democracy, past, president and future. Tēnā wahini tō o tēnei whari, tēnā koutou katoa. It is a privilege and an honour to be the first to speak in this special debate on this extraordinary day. And Mr Speaker, my words today are intended primarily as a tribute. First and foremost, a tribute to the woman who led the change, to Kate Shepherd, to Margaret Seabright, to the 25,000 women who signed the petition in 1893, to the women who were the first 40 years later to enter into Parliament, to the first Māori woman, the first woman in cabinet, the first female prime minister, the first MP who gave birth, the first MP who breastfed in this house. I acknowledge every single trailblazer who has led the way for women in this place. And I also acknowledge the mothers of those women because we stand on the shoulders of giants and they stood on the shoulders of mothers. Hold us to account, criticize us, Call us out for not doing enough, for going too slow, for not going fast enough. But call us out as politicians. Call us out as leaders. Call us out as humans. Call us out when we do wrong or make mistakes, but not when we do things differently. And then, when we will finally be a place where we say that we have respected the suffragette movement and have fully achieved what they set out to achieve. Yeah. Kia ora, over 110 mass shootings in the United States since 1982. You know, even President Obama couldn't do that in the United States after the, the massacre of children at Sandy Hook. You can draw a line and say that that does not mean that you need access to military-style semi-automatic weapons and assault rifles. You do not. And New Zealanders, by and large, absolutely agreed with that position. Australia experienced a massacre and changed their laws. New Zealand had its experience and changed its laws. To be honest with you, I do not understand the United States. Pressing the flesh is usually a staple of electioneering, but on the campaign trail in New Zealand, handshakes have been replaced by elbow bumps. <laughs> the Prime Minister has received a bright reception on the hustings, but by her own admission, not everyone has been pleased to see her. There will always be people that disagree with you, and that's democracy. And I expect that on the campaign trail. I expect people will share their views. Jacinda Ardern has promised voters an extra day off each year if she is re-elected next month. By making Matariki, which marks the start of the Māori New Year, a public holiday, 
Labor has also revealed it will raise taxes for high income earners. The party plans to introduce a new top rate, affecting those making more than $180,000. Anything that comes from the opposition should be characterised as simply opposition politics and sadly it seems misinformation. Labor has also committed to 100% renewable electricity generation by 2030, five years earlier than planned. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has been sworn in for a second term. Ardern and her cabinet took oaths of their offices during a ceremony at Wellington's government house. Ardern won 50% of vote in October's general elections, giving her 65 of 120 seats in the parliament. Her cabinet includes eight women. Ardern says her government will prioritize fight against COVID-19 and rebuilding the economy. And the last thing we need is another shed for Clark. He has two. We're just having a bit of an earthquake here, Ryan. Quite a, quite a decent shake here. But um, if you see things moving behind me, the beehive moves a little more than most. <laughs> uh, yep, no, it's, it's just stopped. No, we're fine, Ryan. I'm not under any hanging lights. I look like I'm in a structurally sound, uh, sound place. And the winner of the Vodafone People's Choice Award, let's do it together. Yes, let's do it together, ready? Cindy. <laughs> it's Lord. Man, Jacinda Ardern is up here, guys. You can, come on, come on. I can't believe you're at the New Zealand Music Awards. This is like a big deal for music. I'm presenting to you as a big deal. Mutual fangirl. Oh my god. Mutual fangirl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That means so much. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm sorry. We need to give another round of applause to Jacinda Ardern. I am so happy to have such an articulate, exciting, young, beautiful leader in our country. It is clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack. Assalamu alaikum. Many of those who will have been directly affected by this shooting uh, may be migrants to New Zealand. They may even be refugees here. They have chosen to make New Zealand their home and it is their home. They are us. Everyone is grieving and I'm grieving with them. Um, but I also have a very important job to do. I need to ensure that we are looking after those affected, that they have ongoing care and support, not just in the coming days, but the coming months and years. He is a terrorist. He is a criminal. He is an extremist. But he will, when I speak, be nameless. So we are a nation of 200 ethnicities, 160 languages, we open our doors to others and say welcome. The first thing that, um, that I remember being very aware of um, is that, and I was small, so I didn't frame it in terms of equality. I just saw children that didn't have what I did and questioned why that was. It took me a few more years to then realise that actually if you want to change, you know, if you want to change the world as it were, the politics is, is the place that you make those significant changes. It's not the only place, but it is probably the most effective. Growing up, my sister and I were the only Mormon kids my age that, that were at my school. So in part, um, it was a very strong part of my identity. It was how my friends identified me as well. Um, I was both Mormon and, and sober driver. That was, <laughs> that was the benefit that they saw from my, um, from my membership. 
There'll be often times where, where I don't have the same view as those who are around me, but what I learned was always to respect the perspective of someone else, understand where that view has come from and why. And it's changed, you know, that probably has made me the politician I am. made me realise that of course it will always be important that people understand the politics and the drive and the policy direction of our, of our leaders, but they also deserve to have a sense of who they are. So I see social media as a way of yes, giving people that insight into who you are um, and to a certain degree the life that you lead. I know that one of the issues that we have both here in New Zealand and much more broadly is that women's um, confidence in themselves to do a job can be a barrier, um, as alongside many of the other very real barriers that exist in the workplace, but I know that is a barrier as well, and if I can give a sense of hope that there is a path that you can find yourselves in these wonderful situations. Uh, if you push ahead and hold a bit of self-belief in your ability to do a job, it's a simple message, but I hope one that, that just my presence conveys. We have a housing crisis. Um, we have not built the infrastructure we need. We need to do that so that we don't offer a false dream to those who make an extraordinary effort to lift and upheave their lives to come here. So I really push back on this idea that, um, or this sentiment that somehow making sure that we have the right structures and the right system in place is anti-immigration. It's about making sure that New Zealand can uphold its reputation of being a place that when people choose to settle here, have a decent life and a good life, because that's what my ancestors had. In New Zealand, there is a Māori proverb, Hiaha te mea nui o te ao. What is the most important thing in the world? He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. It is the people, the people, the people. As we head back to our respective countries, may we all remember that our actions this week serve our people. Through the Commonwealth, we must continue to help improve the lives for all of our citizens. May I invite you all to join me in a toast to the Commonwealth, towards a common future. Today, I can confirm that myself, government ministers, and public service chief executives will take a 20% pay cut for the next six months. As we acknowledge New Zealanders who are reliant on wage subsidies, taking pay cuts and losing their jobs, as a we feel acutely the struggle that many New Zealanders are facing. And so too do the people that I work with on a daily basis. And while it in itself won't shift the government's overall fiscal position, it is about leadership. And I acknowledge my colleagues, both in the executive, but also the colleagues we work with uh, in the public service um, for the decision that was taken today. If there were ever a time to close the gap between groups of people across New Zealand in different positions, it is now. Of course, many people in our public sector are our frontline essential workers, nurses, police, healthcare professionals. We are not suggesting pay cuts here, and nor would New Zealanders find that appropriate. Rather, I am responsible for the executive branch, myself and ministers. This is where we can take action, and that is why we have. ideas being bounced around is just how can we support New Zealanders to um, make the most of travelling around the country and some have been saying well if they had a bit more flexibility in terms of their travel and their leave they might be able to do that. Um, I hear lots of people suggesting we should have a four day week. Um, ultimately that really sits between employers and employees. 
This Thursday, April the 1st, sees the delivery of a range of government policies. First, the minimum wage will increase to $20 an hour, fulfilling a key pre-election promise that we made. Since 2017, we have lifted the minimum wage by $4.25 an hour in total. That is significant when compared to the $3.75 increase that occurred over the whole nine years of the previous national government. There is still much more to do, including building more homes, improving our health system, investing in education, training and job opportunities. But as we head to the Easter break, I think the raft of changes that come into effect later this week represents real and long overdue improvements to the support we provide to our most vulnerable. These are everything together, like our 4% wage growth, lowest unemployment in the decade, 384,000 families, better off through families package, 1 million people getting cheaper power through the winter energy payment, 200,000 workers better off through an increase in the minimum wage, 1,800 new police trained, cheaper doctors' visits for 600,000 New Zealanders, record capital investment in hospitals and schools, 60 million for Pharmac, 12 new cancer treatment radiation machines, 1,458 more DHB nurses, 106 more midwives, 582 more doctors, 531 more allied health workers, 3,623 state houses, highest number of first-time buyers in a decade, banned offshore speculators, 726 new classrooms built, 2,700 more apprenticeships this year, landmark zero carbon legislation. <laughs> Nine million trees banned single-use plastic zags, made safety improvements to 2,406 kilometres of state highways. New Zealand history taught in schools in Kura by 2023. 416,000 students who won't pay school donations next year increase the refugee quota and crack down on loan sharks. Well, if you do all of that, you get a little puffed. <laughs> Thank you.